Hello, welcome to another video on rheumatology. In this video, you'll be able to learn about carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome is caused by compression of the median nerve as it passes deep to the flexor retinaculum in the wrist. Conditions causing swelling of the flexor tendons or fibrosis or any edema of the surrounding soft tissues can reduce the available space for the median nerve leading to compressive neuropathy. Patients who are obese, pregnant, diabetic, hypothyroid, or those who are having chronic systemic diseases like rheumatoid arthritis or certain infiltrative diseases like hemochromatosis are all at risk of developing a compromised carpal tunnel causing neuropathy. Patients complain of pain and paresthesias in the distribution of median nerve sparing the thenar eminence as the palmar cutaneous branch of the median nerve enters the hand outside of the carpal tunnel. In severe disease, motor function can also be compromised due to more compression affecting the deeper motor nerves of the median nerve, causing weakness of thumb abduction and opposition along with atrophy of the thenar eminence. Diagnosis can be made on physical examination with a positive Fallon test or a positive Tinel sign. Tinel sign is positive when pain or tingling sensation is elicited on tapping or the median nerve at the wrist. Fallon test is eliciting the tingling sensation on holding the wrists in extreme flexion with the dorsum of the hands pressed against one another. Raising the hand over the head and hyperextension can also reproduce symptoms and can be helpful in diagnosing patients with carpal tunnel syndrome. In uncertain cases or when surgical evaluation is made due to non-resolution of the symptoms with splinting and also after treating the underlying disease, nerve conduction studies are done to evaluate the degree of injury and in some cases, electromyography is also done to check for the integrity of the musculature. Treatment is by wrist splinting for mild cases, especially during the night times, or if the patient feels discomfort all throughout the day, he or she is also advised to use the wrist splinting for immobilization throughout the day. Glucocorticoid injections or Surgical interventions for severe or refractory symptoms can also be uptaken.